Alexa, call Paul. You just tap it to answer. answer. All right, All right, here it is. Cool. What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and today I got in my Amazon Echo Show. And I'm gonna show you. And I also have my Philips Hue smart light bulbs that came in also as well. And I'm gonna set those up. Well, I'm probably gonna do that as a separate video. I'm gonna focus more on the Amazon Echo Show in, uh, in this particular video. But later on, if you guys are interested in uh, how to set up uh, Philips Hue smart light bulbs to your Google Home speaker or your Amazon Echo, then I could do that video for you if you're interested. Let me know, post a comment, or give me a big thumbs up. Let me know if you're interested in videos like uh, home automation, stuff like that. Open this up, and here it is. All right, so, oh, and you can even turn on your, uh, open your garage door, turn on your sprinklers, adjust your thermostat. Oh, it shows your security cameras. So this is a, um, a video monitor for your video surveillance. That's pretty cool. I might do a video on that later on if you're interested. Let me know. Let's open this up. All right, you guys uh, just open it up already. All right, it's a box in a box. My grandma's favorite thing to do is put boxes in boxes. Uh, here it is. It's, it's pretty bulky, actually. Look at that. I wish it was portable. I wish I had a battery dock. But I think someone's going to make one. So this is my Amazon Echo. And this is the tower. And this is the, obviously, this the Echo Show. And it's a lot bulkier, as you can see. But uh, what I like about this guy right here is uh, there's so many third-party developers and this one's actually portable so I can unplug it and it has a battery dock how cool is that made by Eagle Eagle Tech so that's pretty cool and you can even charge your phone it has a USB in the back right there and it charges your phone you can put this outside in the back patio and listen to some music it's pretty awesome huh now I really really wish someone, third party developer, will make a battery dock for the Echo Show. So let's go ahead and open it up. Feels smooth. That's interesting. It is the same exact adapter as the Amazon Echo. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in and connect it. Looks pretty good on, on the like on, on this end table. Hello, your Echo device is ready for setup. All right, so I gotta connect to my router. All right, just put in my password to my router. Oh, yes, that is me. And I am in North America, New York time, continue retains audio and interactions and other data and in the cloud I already know about that device updates available your echo device will be updated to the latest software this could take up to 10 minutes once the download is complete download let's go ahead and update it hit play introducing Amazon Echo Show it's everything you love about Alexa but now she can show you things Play movies from Amazon Video, view your photos, or see what's on your calendar and to-do lists. And now there's a new way to be together. Make hands-free video calls to friends and family. Like this. Alexa, call Tina. You can also message or call someone on their supported Echo device or the Alexa app on their phone. Ready for some music? Echo Show fills the room with bold stereo sound. Alexa. Show today's most popular songs. Here are popular songs. Alexa, play number two. And with Amazon Music, you can follow along to the lyrics of your favorite songs. Come on, come on, turn Alexa helps you take control of your busy life. Alexa, show me sushi restaurants. 
Here are a few nearby popular ones. You can watch movie trailers, or even watch your favorite shows and movies from Amazon Video. Alexa, play the Grand Tour. Alexa is always getting smarter. To get a list of things to try, just ask, Alexa, what can I say? And when you want to go back to the home screen, say, Alexa, go home. Enjoy your new Echo Show. All right. So your Echo Show is ready. Uh, Alexa, what can you do? You can say things like, Show Jennifer Lawrence movies, or show my Kindle books. You can ask me to scroll for more. Alexa, show Jim Carrey movies. Here's what I found. Oh, it says Play Now. So this one says Play Now. This one says HBO. Subscribe to Cinemax. Subscribe to Stars. I could buy this one for $9.99. Hit Play Now. Let's see. Oh, cool. That's pretty sweet, actually. <laughs> I wonder if I could cast it to my Fire TV stick. Alexa, cast to living room TV. Alexa, cast to Fire TV stick. I can't find that skill. To find skills, go to the skills section of the Alexa app. All right, so I can't do that yet, I believe. Uh, hopefully later on. Alexa, pause. Open my books. Here are your audiobooks. The little girl's name. Alexa, pause. What? So if you have Amazon Prime, these you'll have access to all these, it looks like. Play. It's pretty loud. Alright, so I would say it's just as loud as my Echo. Not my Echo Dot, but actually the tower. Alright, so let's go ahead and test it out. Let's swipe down. There's your home. Do not disturb. Which uh, should shut off the microphone and camera. Or you can just hit this top button right up here. Oh, that's how you turn it off. But if you hit this button right here, and you see that red light, that is your privacy mode. So right here, let's go ahead and test it out. Alexa, Alexa. So on the Bluetooth end, you can connect to your headphones or to your phone. All right, let's go to um, click on home screen and you can customize your home screen. So I have it set to my photo or you could go to your Alexa app and uh, pick any photo you want and send it to your Amazon Echo uh, show. Or you could just have it uh, rotate all your prime photos, but you have to connect your phone photos to your Amazon account. Home cards. So I set my home cards to run continuously. I have my notification set on. Upcoming events, I set that on. Now this is, if you want more privacy, you don't want people dropping in on you, go ahead and uh, click on that and I'll set it to off. Now I highly suggest putting this in your living room, not your bedroom, since it has a camera in it. To control your all your Amazon Echoes, what you want to do is go into your Amazon Alexa app. I'm not quite sure how to help. You can click on send message and this is the music playing on each echo. So I can play whatever music I want on any of the echoes I have in my house. So you want to go to settings, then choose your, um, let's say you want to choose the echo show, click on echo show. To turn off drop in mode, you click on drop in mode and I already have it turned off as you can see right here. Or you could set that uh, Amazon Echo Show to Do Not Disturb mode. You don't want people dropping in on you in your bedroom. But you could just turn that feature off, of course. Or just press this button. You change your sounds. There's your music and uh, video sound control. Your alarm and timer sound control. You could change your uh, alarms. Oh, you have Dan Marino, <laughs> 24 Legacy. This is cool. I have my start request, Alexa. 
see right now it's um, muted so I like my start request I'll um, put the chime on Alexa uh, device options you get to change your name of your device set the location so it tells you the weather and your location the wake up word I set to Alexa you can change that to computer echo you can pair an Amazon Echo remote to it you can check for software updates right here and reset to uh, factory defaults and basically erases all the personal settings there's restrict access you can turn off prime photos if you want to keep your photos private movie trailers and uh, YouTube uh, restriction mode right here as well and it has a help menu too so there's a little help guide built in Alexa Call Paul. You just tap it to answer. Uh, let's go ahead and hit mute. I'm getting feedback. There we go. And it looks like if you hold it vertically, you get a vertical image. And if you hold it yeah, horizontally, there you go, you get full screen. Uh, we'll see what else you could do. It's uh, oh. you can hit swap. You, oh, you can use the back cam. Let's swap it back. All right. So on this side, what can you do? There is no mute. You can't swap. There's only one camera. That's why. You can turn off the video, so the person on the phone can't see you. So it's uh, you can do it on both devices, I believe. And now it's a, a voice call, and then you can hear. But if you click on that, it turns off the video and the mic at the same time. You can adjust the volume control right here. It's good to know. And let's go ahead and see if you can control my lights. Alexa, turn off living room light. Okay. If you guys are interested in the Amazon Echo Show, just click on the link in the video description below. If you found this video informative, Give me a big thumbs up. If you guys want more tutorials and how-to videos coming your way, click on this subscribe button right here or down below. And if you know anyone that may be interested in this, go ahead and click on the share button and share this video to them.